Oh look, another video about grocery stores. Who would have guessed the guy who literally works at a grocery store wants to talk about them? You'd think I'd, I'm obsessed with, it, with how many videos I made about them. Anywho, today's today's little video is about crazy customers or out of it customers, however you want to say it. And I've just got a couple. I've just got like a couple of bullet points written down. Just so I can remember some of them. These are just some of the funny ones. There's quite a few more, but these are the ones that I personally wanted to talk about and remember. So first one is <laughs> he's he for my note. It's literally just New Zealand, help me. And the reason why that's the bullet note. I wasn't there at the time. But apparently, from my friend Jordan, one of my best friends, he was working and it was early in the day. Some dude was apparently getting dragged out of the, you know, grocery store for whatever he was doing. Maybe he was stealing, whatnot, making a hassle. I don't know. It's been it's been a while. But as he was being dragged out, like he's trying his hardest, his hardest not to be like thrown out and he just screams to anyone and everyone who can hear new zealand help me like someone's actually gonna help this because he's like he was just screaming it as he's just being dragged out because he was just on some cones or some shit i don't know what he was doing it was funny hearing it later we're just like bro we ain't gonna help you man you know how many weird people we see in the store <laughs> nah man get out of here second one smashing the trolley into the door so this was at my other job pack and save it closes at 9 p.m so one what ended up happening is i was gone at this point but my team leader caleb at the time they were closing the store and you know how customers you know customers right they try sometimes to come in just as the store's like about to close or literally as it's closed like the, it's it's nine everything's closed like it's just closed down everyone knows this it's literally and like it's on the sign it's lit it's got a big thing seven to nine you know seven a.m to nine p.m this this cousy had the bright idea to come up to the door and Asked if he could be let in when it's 9 p.m. Everyone, everyone else in the car park's gone. It's just him in the car park. Obviously, we were like, no. Can you please leave us alone? Just leave the premises. But nah, this guy came back with a vengeance. He did not give a shit. You know what he decided to do? Grab the shopping cart that he was pushing along and decided to just smash it into the door and he the funny thing he didn't not stop until the cops got there the, the cops happened to just be literally just be around the corner they were pulling into the pack and say for some reason and they all they see is this cuz he just bang 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 just smashing the troll into the door like like a madman they're just looking at him like what's this guy on man what the fuck bang bang and I came back the next day. Our door was bent. And it's like an automatic door. So whenever it closed, it doesn't... It, ac it actually didn't close properly. He literally banged it so bad. That it didn't like close all the way. But it was basically like 95% of the way there. My third one is crackhead in the toilet. This one is very obvious. This one literally just says it itself it was just a crackhead in the toilet this lady i don't know what sort of drug she was on she was definitely on drugs was just in the toilet just yelling just flipping shit everywhere and when i say flipping shit i mean she was literally throwing her own shit everywhere yelling in the toilets about hurting herself or something like that and impact said the toilets is actually right at checkouts so everyone who's at the checkout, so you know, it didn't even matter where you were in the store. Like I was, I think I was in the, 
I was at the other side of the store basically, but I could still hear her. Obviously, I didn't hear what she was saying, but I could hear someone yelling. So I walk to like the middle of the store and just hear this commotion. This lady just yelling in the bathroom on something, yelling whatever she was trying to, you know, whatever her truth was. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Just yelling. Just in the toilet, just fucking yelling, flipping shit everywhere. Like maybe 10, 15 minutes later, cops barge and you know, break down the door and arrest her because right, she was just, she was just acting like a crazy bitch. Speaking of crackheads, the next one, the next people I'm talking about were a couple of crackheads. And when I say that, I mean, it was literally just a couple. I don't, they looked like a couple that were definitely on some sort of trip I don't ask me what but they had very very bad this woman was literally the hunchback of Notre Dame bro she had the biggest hunchback she looked like she had scoliosis she was hunched over like half her height was gone like if she could actually stretch out her back she would literally be twice as tall hunched back bro and she had needle like needle marks all over everywhere bro she looked like she was on p meth fucking steroids even though she wasn't muscular bro she was just on something and she had a partner with her he wasn't as bad though he was walking really weird he bro he looked like he like got punched in the balls and shat himself at literally at the same time i don't know what because he bro he just looked like he was limping he was limping and trying not to take a shit. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of stance he was doing. But they definitely stood out like, they're, they're not hiding anything. I can obviously see that you guys are on something. You've got needle marks everywhere. I've literally got a fucking hunchback in my store. You guys, you guys need to do a better job of hiding it. So, I don't know if you guys had this at your supermarkets but the ones in New Zealand or at least where I live there's always those people on the sidewalk you know with the sign saying oh um can you please give me some money you know change change all that so we actually have to do quite a few things because of them uh they got banned off of the premises so they would move over to like the other side of the road so they can continue and they got banned because they're doing a lot of things. One, they were sleeping in the bushes, like sleeping in the bushes in the car park. Two, they they would literally hide things in the car park. There was one time where they found three canisters of whatever. I think it was fuel. It was like, I don't know how much, maybe like nine liters worth of just gas in, in the bush. And it was some cousin was just... I don't know what he was doing he was he was just like yeah i got these for free so i wanted to put them in the bush so no one would take them there was also a guy i was because i had to go across the road to go um, bring back the trolleys from the other side and this guy was looking for like his food he was like fuckers like have you uh, have you seen my food i put in this bush it's a bag of onions did you see my food do you know who took it i'm just like nah bro the fuck would i know I ain't looking in these bushes looking for fucking onions, cuz. Why would I know where that is? He was like, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 fair, G, fair. But if you see my back of onions, can you tell me? I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, calm, G, calm, G. And just walked off, cuz I'm like, fuck, man. Stop leaving your onions in the god. Stop leaving your shit in our bushes. And then there's, on the side of the car park, there's this little alleyway. Bro, they had a whole ass mattress set up in there. Condoms everywhere. They were just fucking on the side of the car park. They just left their condoms and all their shit there. And because that's also where we used to um have our breaks sometimes. So we would one day we walked up in there, we we're like, why is there a mattress here? And then we just see fucking condoms everywhere. We're like, oh hey. This is disgusting, bro. Come on they're used as well if you're gonna do that shit put your condoms away they, you, you know this area there's rubbish bins everywhere why are you leaving your condoms in your fucking 
shit stained mattresses on the side of our goddamn break room. Okay. The next one. The guy who kept shitting himself. This one. This one's just simple. There was this old dude. I don't know if like. He had a helper. But he definitely looked like he needed like support doing a lot of things. I don't know where his helper was. But he would come in maybe every week or other week. I only saw him maybe once a week. Once. Yeah, once a week or once every two weeks. The only thing I'd ever see this cousin do, he would walk around, and you could tell when he was about to do it, he would just walk around and shit himself in the stall. And you could tell when he was about to take a shit, because all he would do is he would walk around. He's got a stroller. So imagine he's just pushing a stroller around. It's like a populated stall. Everyone's around. It's literally a supermarket. There's going to be heaps of people pushing a stroller down an aisle. Then all of a sudden, stop he takes a seat he sits down gets comfy in his little stroller starts focusing starts going super sane or starts releasing everything in the fucking aisle i don't know if this cuz has a nappy but he was just letting everything go he just straight shat and pissed himself in the aisle and then he would literally just sit there and wait no one would go down the aisle he'll sit there and wait i don't know who he was waiting for because every time I'd like walk around the corner, because you could smell this cuzzy from the other side of the stall. If I walked around the corner, saw him, or anyone saw him, he would just look at you and I'm just like, yeah, nah, I'm sorry. I, I ain't dealing with that, bro. I ain't dealing with that shit, literally. Nah, -uh. I'd either just walk off or go on break, because I ain't dealing with that. Why the fuck do you keep coming to the store if you're going to shit yourself? Like, why? And it didn't make it better. That every time you'll see him, he'd have the same pants and it would have like piss and shit marks all over it. So now I'm looking at him like, bruh, where is your helper? It's gotta. How do you keep getting here? How? And the last one I want to talk about, this is gonna be a quick one. My note just says, guy jumps in front of electric pallet jack. This one was just annoying to me because. When we went to the cameras because for a time our electric pallet jets got banned from being used unless it was authorized by a manager because some cuzzy decided to just jump in front of someone towing a pallet with the electric pallet jet and apparently got injured which you know quotation marks got injured because when when we went to go look at the cameras it it literally didn't even go over his foot or touch him it just grazed past it didn't even grace he was at least a good like i don't even know half a meter away from it and he just falls over and just starts acting like oh oh my my, my foot my leg and we're just like oh my god i'm gonna get fucking sued for this shit i'm gonna get sued luckily it wasn't me it was someone from you know the frozen department and he was actually really cut up about it but I'm just like, what? You got some shitty acting right there, bud. You need to at least, like, at least get into character. Like, just, just run straight into the pallet jack. Just act a bit better. You can get that money from the, the company. I don't give a shit. But, like, what the fuck, man? Now I, can, I couldn't use an electric pallet jack. And now I have to tow these heavy-ass fucking pallets with a manual jack. I gotta tow, like like 40 50 pellets you jackass 